Welcome to the dialogue, learning from the masters. This podcast will offer you a rare glimpse into our in-depth interview with screenwriter Jonathan Hensley. This may be a loaded question, but if you could change the system in some way, any way, like what would you change or what would be the first thing you'd call for in terms of change? I would re-empower the producer. That's good to hear. <laughs> I, it's not meant to... Right, no, I understand. Yeah, no, it's... Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know how you would have felt when you were head of production at New Line. I don't know if But you I was were... a special kind of executive. Yes, you were. <laughs> yes, you were. I mean, I would... It's interesting. <clears throat> and I'll put it not... I'll put it not in my voice. I'll put it in George Lucas's voice. Fair enough. Okay? And I know that George won't mind me saying this. <clears throat> I saw George at a party a year ago, and after the traditional, hey, how you been, etc., we started talking about Hollywood and what we each hate about current Hollywood, you know, hierarchy, etc. And George <clears throat> related the following. He said that he had been called by a head of one of these multinational corporations who wanted to reorganize the film division of this multinational corporation. And he was seeking George's advice how to do that. And George said, well, 20 years ago, when I went onto the lot, I would deal with all of the executives, marketing, production, post-production, everything in one building. Now when I go onto the lot, only creative is there. Where before, in other words, the people who developed the scripts, et cetera, who had choices, creative choices about the plots of the movies, what the actors were wearing, you know, what the backdrops of the scenes looked like, mm -hmm. super creative choices. Where before those were in the hands of four executives and now in the hands of 30 executives. Each executive having to justify daily their paycheck, okay? And he said, fire them all. This was the advice that he gave to this guy. Fire all those executives and re-empower the independent producer strike deals with th those producers in town whose tastes you admire or share, whatever, bring them on, and have them do all that work. Have them develop the scripts. Have them out in Hollywood developing relationships with actors, directors, writers, etc. Suffice it to say, the guy did not take George Lucas's advice. But. Right. This has been an excerpt from the dialogue Learning from the Masters with screenwriter Jonathan Hensley. To get the full interview on DVD, go to thedialogueseries.com. There you will find this and all 27 in-depth interviews with the industry's leading screenwriters. You can also find these interviews at Netflix, Amazon, Audible, and coming soon to iTunes.